Within the heavy transport industry, movements of oversized loads are always some of the most eye-catching and impressive, yet at the same time, the most complicated and challenging, mainly due to all the implications surrounding them. While this type of transport is not common in normal contexts, it is well known that in the mining industry, they are often constant due to the magnitude of the machinery used there, such as CAT 979F cargo trucks. However, despite the fact that these immense vehicles often pose a challenge for transporters, there are situations where cargo movement operations rise to much greater scales. From the movement of industrial materials and equipment to unusual transports of gigantic military machines, today we will present a short list of some of the most impressive indivisible cargo transports. Given that this type of work is not for everyone, there are multiple specialized companies such as the German Kubler Spedition dedicated to logistics for such cases. One of their most memorable feats was the incredible overland transport of the U-17 submarine, which served the German Navy from 1973 until 2010. The submarine measured an impressive 54 meters in length and 9 meters in height, reaching a staggering weight of 500 tons. The objective of this operation was to transport the submarine to the Technology Museum in the city of Speyer, along a road route of approximately 4 kilometers. To achieve this, besides redirecting traffic, cutting trees, disconnecting electrical and telephone lines, and dismantling traffic signs, it was essential to use a special platform trailer equipped with 30 axles, most of which were directional. Each axle had 8 tires, totaling 240 wheels supporting the weight. This trailer was propelled with the help of four trucks, one MAN unit, and three Mercedes-Benz trucks, in configurations 8x4 and 6x4. All these trucks were equipped with V8 engines, with two units positioned at the front pulling and the other two vehicles behind the load pushing it. Impressively, this convoy reached a weight of approximately 100 tons, adding to the 500 tons of the load itself. It's worth mentioning that for this transport, a part of the route had to be done via maritime transport, although it's important to note that this was done using a barge and not by pulling the submarine into operation, which would have been remarkable. This journey crossed the Kiel Canal, the North Sea, and finally the River Rhine, until reaching the port of Speyer. Additionally, this feat is not yet complete, as the ultimate goal is to transport the submarine to the Technological Museum of Seinsheim by mid-July 2024. As we've analyzed in previous videos, Alaska is one of the regions with the most potential when it comes to the exploitation of natural resources. Its vast reserves of minerals and oil fields make it a worthwhile area to venture into. This has led to multiple attempts by giant companies to venture into and explore one of the most inhospitable places on the planet. However, the main obstacle to overcome after discovering a deposit is being able to transport all the necessary machinery and tools to the site for resource extraction. The complexity of this task revolves around two factors the challenging climate of the region, and the colossal size of the required work equipment. Because of this, multiple companies have specialized in carrying out transports of oversized and indivisible loads, allowing for entire industrial complexes weighing hundreds of tons to be transported thousands of kilometers to carry out their work. Many of these drilling platforms are composed of various modules which together can weigh an immense 4,300 tons, equivalent to nearly 10 fully loaded Boeing 747 airplanes, making logistics operations quite special. Although some of these models are equipped with all the necessary mechanisms to be self-propelled, some parts of the oil rigs must be towed over the proper ice roads. Good job. 
For this, logistics companies like Northern Energy Services and Linden have fleets with several dozen heavy-duty trucks, as well as various trailers and specialized platforms adapted for this type of work. Often when situations become complicated, heavy machinery on tracks can be seen assisting the trucks, especially during the initial phases of the operation, demonstrating the level of difficulty involved in carrying out these types of transports. If you've reached this point in the video and enjoyed it, we would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. As previously mentioned, industries where cargo movement is particularly challenging are often related to industrial processes such as mining, as well as the extraction and processing of hydrocarbons. A testament to this is the largest transportation project in Canadian history, which took place in Alberta and involved the movement of specialized machinery for the petrochemical industry. Specifically, it involved the transportation of a structure known as a splitter, which is crucial for a complex process where propane is transformed into recyclable plastic pellets known as polypropylene. This material is used in the manufacturing of medical devices, food storage, containers, and even in the technology industry. This equipment was mobilized to the Heartland Petrochemical Complex of Interpipeline, a modern processing plant that received an investment of $3.5 billion. It began operations in 2022 and aims to provide employment to over 13,000 people, greatly benefiting the economy of Alberta and Canada as a whole. The complexity of the operation lay in the fact that this historic superload weighed around 820 tons and stretched 96 meters long, making it as heavy as approximately seven blue whales and as tall as Big Ben in Britain. Interestingly, this journey took about four days, covering a route from the city of Edmonton to the city of Fort Saskatchewan, which typically takes no more than 40 minutes. This was due to the fragility of the cargo, limiting the convoy's maximum speed to just 15 kilometers per hour. This operation was made possible solely thanks to the efforts of the multinational company Mamoet and the numerous operators, drivers, and logistics personnel involved. To achieve this feat, a fleet of six trucks was necessary, with two pulling and four pushing. In addition to the participation of two double inter-combi trailers, each formed by 26 lines with four axles, each with four tires for an unimaginable total of 728 tires supporting the weight of the load. While it's known that road transportation is the backbone that keeps the global economy afloat, often this accolade is only attributed to the movement of goods such as products or raw materials, completely disregarding those who specialize in logistics for those enormous machines doing the dirty work. That's why we shouldn't underestimate the companies that specialize in this type of cargo, as they are also a fundamental part of various heavy-duty industries. Tell us, what did you think of these transports? Do you know any other stories of impressive cargo movements? We'll be reading your comments. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it and want more similar content, please subscribe to our channel. We also invite you to visit our secondary channel, Gear Unlimited, where you'll find a wide variety of topics. We appreciate your support and interest. Keep on trucking and stay tuned for more.